Hello again, my children. Bossway Phoenix here with a brand new Warframe video, and I wanted to ask about that peculiar burning sensation you've been having for the past three days. It's probably being caused by the new Warframe secondary, the Pux, and we're gonna talk all about it today, but first, Mesa is gonna flip you guys off. Pus, gas, and swollen testicles. Sounds like a recipe for an exciting Saturday night, but in reality, I'm just describing the Pox, a brand new secondary weapon released with the Silver Grove update. So far, I've actually spent a lot of time with this weapon, and from my test so far, I've gotta say that I'm really enjoying using it. So about the weapon itself, firstly, you should know that it's an explosive throwing weapon, much like the Talons or Kastanas, and when thrown, it explodes, releasing a toxic gas cloud. But unlike the Talons or Kastanas, you don't actually have to press any buttons to detonate the Pox because they explode on impact. This was immediately one of my favorite features. My second favorite feature, which again sets the Pox apart from its other throwing explosive counterparts, is that you can't damage yourself with it. Hall of freaking Luya because as incompetent as I am, I often kill myself with weapons of this type and it's a comfort to know that I can sling these things around without embarrassing myself. As for the stats, we see that the Pox has fairly high innate toxin base damage with no physical damage types, a whopping 35% status chance and 100% accuracy. Needless to say, the Pox has potential. Now, judging by my watch time analytics, a lot of you have skipped straight to this part and just paused the video. Those of you still watching, you have my eternal fatherly love and devotion. Now, what you're looking at here is my build for the Pox. Yours might look different, and that's okay. This is just what I tested and found to be best for my playstyle. The build itself is pretty generic and focuses on achieving 100% status chance, which is doable with only three 60% elemental mods. Also, you'll notice that I'm using Magnum Force, which on pretty much any other secondary weapon is a waste of a mod slot due to its small damage gain and high accuracy decrease. But on the Pox, this accuracy debuff doesn't really affect much. Take note here as well that although my setup shows heat and viral, you can use any elemental combos you want. This is great as well considering that as the Pox has only elemental damage and no physical damage types, it's technically ideal for use against really any enemy type. Moving on, let's test this build out in the simulacrum against a few different enemy types. The enemies in this footage are level 100, which is about the highest level enemy you'll see in your average sortie. First up, we've got some fleshy dudes, and we're using a viral and heat combo against them. You'll notice that our viral damage and constant status procs absolutely destroy their flesh-based health. Additionally, our heat element keeps them stunned in place and delivers a nice bit of damage over time. Our next hapless test subjects are of the armored variety, and this time we're using the corrosive element. This is going to whittle down their armor value while the heat we still have on the weapon continues to do massive amounts of damage over time. As you may have already surmised from this footage, the Pox is a weapon capable of insane area denial and is fantastic for holding choke points, much like the Torrid, which is a primary weapon with a similar mechanic. I was also amazed to see that the status procs from this weapon tick so fast that I could completely remove the armor from a level 100 corrupted bombard. Pretty dope if I do say so myself. So what's the final verdict on this thing? From what I've seen so far, the Pox is capable of some pretty impressive destruction, and overall, I've got to give it the thumbs up. The one glaring issue with a weapon of this type though is the ammo consumption. This thing probably has the worst ammo economy I've ever seen, so consider using ammo mutation or ammo pads if you need them, and you should be good to go. But that's gonna do it for me today, ladies and memes. If you enjoyed this video, consider stroking my e peen and leaving a like down below. If you really liked what you saw and you're new around here, consider subscribing. My parents are getting really tired of listening to me yell into a microphone every day, and they're about ready to kick me out. So if I get enough subscribers, I could probably buy myself a really nice cardboard box. Until next time though, I'm Bows Phoenix, I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.